in his blog, he said, I trained with Bernie Cantu, I trained with yeah. the Maven, and then the rest of the blog was about re-raising. Well, you know, you know, the cool thing is that even uh, Phil Helmuth was, uh, you know, he's such an amazing guy. I think his perception is always misled uh, on TV, but you have to remember what TV is all about, is that drama sells. Okay, so people take that and go, wow, he's such a jerk. And, but I'll tell you this on a personal experience, he's probably the, one of the most amazing guys at home, great husband, great father. Uh, many people don't know that about him. Probably, probably one of the best, you know, with, out of most poker players, I'll say he's one of the highest rated of family life that he keeps in check. Many people can't do that. Many people can't stay married for 20 years, you know, and he's been able to do that. So he's actually a really, really amazing human being. But even Phil's smart enough to know and say, look, I need to learn new things. I need to learn what's happening out there that's different than what's happening before. So he goes to you know guys like David, Brandon Cantu, who's another very aggressive player, and says, let me learn what you guys do. And let me see how I can adapt some of that into my game and make me a better player. Uh, Farak, Faraz Jaka was, uh, anyone know who he is? Really good player, really, yeah, really good player. Um, it was a really interesting conversation I had with him. And Phil Helmuth was on the same table as him. He said, look, I expected Phil to play a certain way, but he's playing a whole different way, and he's playing pretty amazing. That was when he made the final table. So the first step for everybody is to realize that, you know, we have to take out our pride. And pride is something that always holds us back. Pride is something that makes us say that I don't want to learn this or I, don't, you know, I already know this. But the definition of pride is pride is a perception that we create to feel better about ourselves. Now listen to that carefully. Pride is a perception that we create to feel better about ourselves. So if pride is a perception, it doesn't, only, it doesn't exist. It only exists in your own world. So if it only exists in your own world, is that something that you really got to pay attention to, yes or no? No. No. Pride is usually a hidden form of insecurity. Usually people that have a lot of pride, they also have a lot of insecurity. Now, the challenge with that is that whether you're bluffing or whether you're not bluffing, insecurity shows. There's people that will bluff, but they will bluff with insecurity. How many people know what I'm talking about? Okay. They'll do the bluff. It's, it's interesting you say that too because I gave the example where when I re-raised CHOP with 10-5 offsuit, to me, I'm making a profitable play. I don't even consider it a bluff. If I think it's profitable, it's not even a bluff. It's not a bluff. But what's amazing is that there's people that bluff, but they're totally insecure. They're like, oh, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, 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 hope. You know, they, they say this internally, and guess what happens? They get screwed. Okay? Because there's a new science that many people don't understand, and many people don't want to understand, and many people don't want to believe. It's the same people that didn't want to believe that most of the stuff today is going to be internet-based. These are the same people that never thought that email and text will take over paper trail. Is that there is something called quantum physics. There is something called energy. There is something called vibration energy, which in the next 10 years of science is going to be the biggest findings that are going to happen is vibration energy. That vibration is, a, and I'm not going to get really deep in this. I don't want you guys to think I'm a kook, and if you do, I really don't care, honestly. Um, I've been called worse. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I put a little Twitter out there. I said, like, haters are undercover admirers. Okay? Always remember that in your life. Haters are undercover admirers. See, for someone to hate you, you have to admire you somewhere deep down. Uh, so you always have to remember that. But when I talk about vibration energy, is that. You know, many people say, well, you know, I'm a positive guy. No, you're not. You always 